How can I help you? Sarah. Sarah? I'm here about this. Oh, yeah, the Intel cell. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this model has a little screw that uh, pops loose right in the back here. You just go ahead and give it a couple of quick turns. And good as new. No problem. Wow, you geeks are good. Nerds, I would nerds. say nerds probably more. It's no big uh, deal. It's just, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, nerd, nerd. I need you to do one more thing for me. Yeah. Trust me, It was nice knowing you. And he's never found it remotely unbelievable that a guy like me could be dating, um, <clears throat> you know. What? Um, you know, you. What about me? <laughs> You're really going to make me say it, aren't you? You? Wow. Okay, fine. All right, we'll play it your way. A girl like you. Or, or more appropriately, uh, a woman like you, considering the fact that you could probably kick the ass of everyone in this joint, and uh, a smart one at that, not to mention cool and extremely beautiful. And and you can stop me anytime with the compliments if they're becoming, yeah. you know. No, that was uh, very sweet. Sweet, golly gee, thanks for making me feel like I'm eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not so bad yourself. Please. I'm fantastic. Yeah, you are. Desperately. Fine. I have something for you. I was gonna give it to you tomorrow, but considering the circumstances, I kinda wanna give it to you today. Chuck, we're gonna get out of here. We'll be fine, I promise. Wow, <laughs> that's beautiful. It's good luck. It was my mom's charm bracelet. My dad gave it to her when Ellie was born. Oh, Chuck, I can't take this. This is something real, something that you should give to a real girlfriend. I know. Whatever it's worth. If I have to spend the rest of my days in a dark, windowless room, I can't think of a better person to spend it with. Not really how this works. Well, we can't request a cozy little two bed, two bath cell. Two bed? Not the kiss that I was expecting. Sarah, there's an entire facility here dedicated and designed to turning me into Intersect 2.0. I mean, think about it. 
Think about that, me, a real spy, you know, living a life of adventure and doing things that really matter. It's not that simple. You don't know who you're working for. It's complicated. Nothing is real. This... This is simple. This is a real life. We have to go, Chuck. This is it. Are you coming? choosing something bigger. It's, it's about putting aside your own personal feelings for the greater good, and that's what I chose. I chose to be a spy for my friends and my family and you. I chose to be a spy because, sir, I love you. But earlier on in my drunken haze, I realized that I hadn't asked you a question, a really important question that I'd like to ask you now, if that's okay. Just once for the record. Sarah, do you love me? I'm, uh, I'm in my underwear. I'm sitting in my underwear, holding a plastic guitar. There's a very good chance I'm making a complete fool of myself, isn't there? Yes. I should probably put some pants on. No, Chuck. Yes. What? Oh, uh, what? Chuck, I fell for you a long, long time ago after you fixed my phone and before you started diffusing bombs with computer viruses, so yes. my red test Look, you told me you told me that he killed the mole and that you couldn't do it and it was the best news that i'd ever heard because it means that you haven't changed you're still chuck you're still my chuck trust me i did what i had to do but i'm still the same guy i'm still chuck i promise gonna happen to you you have both up to soon and found the world Actually, General, uh, I think we're going to need a few more days in Paris. No, I want you back ASAP. We have a new mission. Last night, a team of Peruvian assassins broke into the... Agent Bartowski? Agent Walker? I've lost contact. Get them back. I don't know. Shut up and kiss me.
It shouldn't have taken me this long to say it, but I've never felt this way. Before you, the only future that I could think about was my next mission, and now, all I can think about is a future with you. I love you, Chuck. I love you, too. Chuck, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't care if you have the intersect or not. Without that you, I'm nobody. I'm nothing but a spy. Come back to me, Chuck. I want to marry you. Never been to a place as beautiful as this. I have. Every day. Every morning I wake up and I look at you. When we brush our teeth tandem style. <laughs> when we watch TV together, whatever, anything, always, every time I look at you, it's the most beautiful place I've ever been. You're a gift. You're a gift I never dreamed I could want or need, and every day I will show you that you're a gift that I deserve. You make me the best person I could ever hope to be, and I want to spend and learn and love the rest of my life with you. Right, my vows. My turn for vows. You just don't cut it. I'm sorry, sir. How do I express the depth of my love for you? or my dreams for our future, or the fact that I will fight for you every day, or that our kids will be like little superheroes with little capes and stuff like that. <laughs> Words can't express that. They don't do it justice. They just don't cut it. So no vows. I'll just prove it to you every day for the rest of our lives. You can count on me. Perfect. You, uh, trust my task. <laughs> Take this woman to be your, uh, lawful wife. I do. And you take this man? I do. Okay. Oh, by that power resting in me? the Intergalactic Federation of Plants. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Come here. Joining the CIA and giving up everything you did. Did you ever think it would lead you here? No. No, but uh, Chuck's taught me that every now and then it's okay to be surprised. to always remember this moment. And now the picket fence. They haven't forgotten anything. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. The 
this little man or woman <laughs> someday. Our first kiss, not not our not our first cover kiss, but our first our first real kiss was when we were trying to defuse a bomb and we thought we were gonna die and I closed my eyes and I felt you grab me and kiss me. You kissed me. And then there was a lot of pretending that it didn't happen and awkward back and forth and even dating other people. But one day, one day when I was sure that you could never love a nerd like me, you came over. And I asked you if you loved me. Sarah, you love me. And you, Sarah Walker, said yes. And when I asked you to marry me, you didn't even have to say yes because we both knew, we both knew that we'd spend the rest of our lives together. So please remember this house and the red door and the white picket fence and the family that we were going to raise together and remember me. Because if you remember me, then you'll remember that a nerdy guy like me who works at a buy more could make you happy. No missions, nothing, nothing really to report. Except I still find myself sitting here talking to myself because because I love him. I love Chuck Bortowski and I don't know what to do about it. I was hoping you'd be here. This place is important, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very much. This is actually where you told me I was going to be okay. That I could trust you. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm asking you to trust me. Sarah, I don't... I don't want anything from you. I... I just need you to know that wherever you go, I'll always be there to help you. Someone you can call whenever. Trust me, Sarah. I'm here for you always. Tell me a story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where to begin? Well, uh, it started with a guy who worked at Bymore. And then one day, an old college friend of his sent him an email that was filled with secrets. And then the next day, his life really changed when he met a spy named Sarah. And he fell in love.
you know, Morgan has this crazy idea. What is it? He thinks that with one kiss, you'll remember everything. <laughs> one magical kiss? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's... Chuck? Yeah. Kiss me.